Hi guys, um, I thought I'd make a video, all the cool kids seem to be doing it, so I wanted to just do a quick run through of how my notebook is set up. Um, I had this in there for a while, I've been putting it in, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out. Um, it adds a pretty good amount of chunk to it because um, it's pretty thick paper, it's just craft paper from Michael's. Um, that I taped two of them together and then followed the YouTube video instructions that have been posted on this page how to make this. It's the I don't remember how many pockets are in there. I think there's like eight or something. But um, I haven't really needed to stick a whole lot of papers in my Midori. Um, and there's lots of pockets in there anyway. So this is out for right now. Uh, to start off with, I have the this little quote from Baum Kuchin, everything happens for a reason. I've been trying to remember that in all aspects of my life. Um, so it's a nice little reminder to have on there. Um, I have four notebooks. Let's see. Four notebooks inside um, uh, the credit card holder and the zip pocket holder as well. And today I took everything out and spent some time just kind of kneading the leather, messing with it, um, pulling on it, stretching it. I was running. I held the two ends of it in either hand and then ran it along the edge of the table and kind of managed to get it really supple and stretchy and eliminate some of that pesky overhang, which for some reason is bothering me. So... Um, but I need to have four notebooks in here to do what I want to do. Um, at the bottom, a friend of mine made me a little friendship bracelet, and I wasn't wearing the bracelet, so I attached it onto here to kind of have with me at all times. So that's the outside. Um, and then I have my pen attached um, to the back. I have one of these really cool uh, four-color pens. We use these a lot in chemistry when we were drawing, but I'm not taking any chemistry right now. But I kind of use it to color coordinate things inside, so... So let's take a look inside. My first notebook is my 36530 notebook. Um, I was originally using this as a bullet journal, but it didn't have any lines or grids or anything like that, and it was kind of driving me crazy. So I turned it into my 36530. Um, it's just a moleskin cahier uh, cut down to size. Um, I just have one of the Fiskars paper cutters, and I, I put it in there. I slice down the edge, I'll flip out what's been cut, I'll slice down again, I'll flip it over, I'll slice down again until I get all the way to the bottom. It's super easy, really efficient, and it works well for me. So I just use some washi tape on the inside to tape in the prompts, and then I only could fit half of them on this side. So since this tape is so easy to remove, when I'm done, I'll just flip it over and retape it back in again. Um, I really am liking doing this. I'm, I'm a daily journaler, but usually it's just kind of a brain dump for me, and so I like being able to have a little bit of a prompt um, that's kind of fun so that's that notebook and like I said there's lots of pockets in here randomly the moleskin uh, notebooks have these on the back so I just taped what I'd cut out and it works perfectly as a pocket here is my zip pocket um, my guy is deployed right now so I have a couple envelopes and stamps in here I like to have those with me wherever I'm at just in case I want to throw a quick note in the mail. It's always fun to get handwritten notes um, in the mail no matter where you're at. So I make sure I always have this stuff with me. Um, these are a couple sticky notes. When I had an ARC notebook, I saw somebody had used one of those paint chip samples from the uh, from a, uh, like an Ace hardware. Um, and they had punched the holes along the side, stuck these on there, and put them in their notebook. And I just really liked that. So I ended up cutting off what I had punched and threw it in my folder. Um, here is my credit card holder. I usually just keep business cards in here because I haven't um, transitioned stuff out of my wallet into here. I want to just keep my wallet separate in case I don't want to bring this big, huge, chunky notebook with me somewhere. Um, so I have business cards and things like that. Um, a little note from my, my boy when he sent me some flowers. So I keep that in there to think about him while he's gone. Uh, my second notebook is my bullet journal. Um, I definitely struggled for a little while. Should I have a bullet journal separate? Should I take my bullet journal with me wherever I wanted to go and then transfer everything over when I was done? And the biggest drawback of the bullet journal for me was not having a calendar type thing. Um, I just, I need to have a, a way to plan the future stuff. So I went back and forth, back and forth. Um, and I kind of, I really like what I have set up in here. And the whole point of getting this Midori was to take it with you wherever. So it got scuffed up, it got marked up. I didn't want to have two notebooks you know, three notebooks, however many notebooks, I wanted to have one thing to keep everything together. So it's just, again, one of the moleskin cayers that I cut down to size. Um, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but um, 
cut down to size, numbered the pages. Um, this is kind of where I've been putting in all my thoughts. What I also do is I have a notes page on my iPhone. If there's something that I don't have my notebook with me and I need to get it out of my brain, I'll throw it into the notes, then I'll transfer it over here later. Um, but this has actually been working really well for me. So um, the I use the, the boxes and the bullet points for ideas. So boxes are for tasks, bullet points are for ideas, and then I have been using the circles, if I need to write an event down into my calendar, which I'll get to in just a second, I still put it in here. So everything just gets put in here and then transferred out where it needs to go later. Um, these are kind of cool little book darts I also got from Bomb Kuchin. They uh, don't really serve much of a purpose in here um, because they're so thin, they don't really act as much of a bookmark, but I just think they're pretty cool looking and uh, add some character. So the next notebook is the uh, calendar that I made. Um, I've gone through like six or seven versions of this so far, so the first couple months are blank because this is like my eighth copy of this. But anyway, I don't have a ton of actual events that I need to keep track of, so this worked out really well for me. I originally had one week on two pages, so these were about double wide, but really I don't have a whole, whole lot going on. Mostly I just need to write down my work schedule. Um, maybe some, I think I have holidays and things like that in here. So um, it works out well. So if, if I have something in my bullet journal that needs to be transferred into here as in a future event, um, I'll throw it in here and uh, cross it off my bullet list or my bullet journal. Um, and I'm more than happy to share this calendar if people are interested in it. I made it in Word, kind of based it off of Ray's weekly um, printables and good lord it took me about a week to get the formatting right so <laughs> props to you Ray that was amazing um, but if anybody's interested I still have the week on two pages version um, and the two weeks on two pages so if anybody's interested in that just uh, let me know and I can post that um, again I just covered this using craft paper from Michaels it was on sale for like 10 cents a page I think this is the back half of the credit cards the back half of the folder um, and then the other thing I didn't like about the bullet journal, well, the way that I have it set up is that the cahiers are so thin that I'm going to be going through it quite a bit faster. Um, I've calculated that it's going to take approximately five to six months to get through one of these little guys. So um, that works out well for me, but I wanted a place to be able to keep um, lists that I wanted to have with me all the time. So, for example, books to read, recipes to try, uh, a want or a wish list kind of thing, movies I want to see. Um, I also threw important dates in there so I can keep recurring dates in there like birthdays and um, anniversaries and then once I get a new calendar I'll just be able to copy those right over. TV shows I want to start watching my sister's bugging me to watch uh, Bates Motel. Um, so yeah so I just really I did an index page up here and then here um, is the list after that. Um, <laughs> I started the Game of Thrones or the Songs of Fire and Ice series and there are so many books that I could not keep them straight so I threw that in there. Um, so here's all my uh, books I want to read, recipes to try, all that kind of stuff. So that's my list in the back. So from front to back, I have 365.30, my bullet journal, my calendar, and my list. So everything's kind of together here, um, fits pretty nicely. Like I said, I, I beat the leather up a little bit today and stretch it out. And it's actually molding quite a bit better than it was earlier today. So... Uh, the way I have the rubber bands in, uh, the, let's see, focus, there we go. The bullet journal and the calendar are together with one band. Those are surrounded by the two plastic folders. And uh, to the bullet journal, I have attached the 365.30. And to the calendar, I have attached my notes list. Um, and then I sent the elastic that came with the Midori through this second notebook here. Originally I had it in between the bullet journal and the calendar, but it was causing the folders, whoop, almost lost it there. It was causing the folders to uh, bunch up closer to the front. And so this was happening quite a bit. Sorry for the focus there guys. So that was happening quite a bit. So by moving the elastic up one and pushing them more of the folders to the back, it's sitting a little bit nicer. So um, I've probably rearranged this thing a hundred thousand times, but hey, that's the fun of it, right? 
you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if anybody's interested in those calendars, let me know and I can post them. Um, but thanks for watching. Okay, bye.